In this video, I wanna give you a brief update on using the Audio Fusion Wireless in-ear monitor system for the first time in a live band setting. I lead worship at a small church plant here in the Denver area. Every single week, we set up and tear down all of our gear. So this Sunday, I set up my Audio Fusion system for the first time. It only took me a few minutes to do this. I had the Wi-Fi router in place, ready to go. I got the Soundcaster app up and running on the MacBook Pro, which was then getting all the audio signal from our Midas M32R digital mixer. Then I just grabbed my iPhone, I put it in airplane mode, made sure it was on the right Wi-Fi network and opened up the performer app on the phone and it worked. So setup only took a few minutes. If you want to know the nitty gritty details of how to set this system up at your church, check out the other video I made that gives you a step-by-step -step tutorial linked below this video. So we got everything up and running and it was time for rehearsal, but I felt like the signals I were getting were pretty weak. So what I did is I went to the Soundcaster app on my Mac and I adjusted the gain. So you can control like how much audio is going into the software from your digital sound console. So I kind of boosted uh, the gain uh, in, in quite a few places. I, I boosted the master gain a bit and then the individual uh, instruments and vocal channels uh, I boosted as well. And that made sure that I was just getting a nice strong signal to my iPhone. And then we went ahead and started our rehearsal. And now I wanna share with you some footage from our rehearsal this morning. And I'm gonna overlay the screen share from my iPhone. And you're actually gonna hear the audio from my in-ear mix coming from the Audio Fusion system. And through the darkness, your loving kindness tore through the shadow of my soul. The work is finished, the end is written. Jesus Christ, turn around two, my three, four. During rehearsal, I was really impressed and really excited that this was working and it was working phenomenally. I did not have any of those signal dropouts unless if I were to like run across the room or go backstage. When I was just sitting there leading the songs, it worked great. And I had never had a wireless mix sound this clear before. So it was kind of jarring to be honest. I could actually like hear everything really clearly. I could hear my voice clearly. And I took a few minutes to get used to the interface on the app to make sure I was dialing in everything properly. And you know, it always takes probably, it's probably gonna take me a week or two to get it dialed in uh, the way I'll really, really like it. But so far I was just really pleased with the mix I was able to get from this system. And especially it being in stereo, I can pan things to the left or right and makes it even more clear. Rehearsal went really well. I didn't have any major signal dropouts and I was feeling really, really confident about using this during the service. And, and I wanna say too that I was testing this out just on myself. I didn't have my other band members uh, using this app quite yet because I wanted to kind of be the, the, the crash test dummy for this in your monitor system. And honestly, I recommend that you do the same at your church uh, because you always kind of want to ease into these types of changes um, rather than just being like, hey everybody, we got a completely new system. But I had a backup plan going into the service. I was a bit concerned what happens if something does go horribly wrong and, and there's a train wreck, I can't hear myself. So I went ahead and I actually grabbed my Sennheiser wireless pack that I had been using in the past and I put that on my belt so I had it there as a backup if I needed it. So the service came Came and everything was working fine and we went into our first set of worship songs we do three worship songs up front and it worked flawlessly and again I want to share with you some footage and also the audio from the mix that I was hearing chorus two three four I give thanks for all you have done and I will sing of your mercy and your love your love is a failing Lord, You'll notice here during this transition when uh, our other worship leader, Megan, was taking over the next song, I actually kind of stepped back and I was like dialing in my mix to, to make things sound a little bit better. Verse two, three, four. Bring it all to peace. The storm surrounding me. Call this 
In the end, all I can say is that it works. A lot of people doubt that this type of system could work and I saw that in the comments of the last video I posted showing this. A lot of you were concerned with latency. There was no latency. Like nothing i cannot notice maybe some of you with a better ear than i can notice it but you know we we play with a click and tracks and there can't be latency in these things and there was none so that's why i'm just really excited to share with you this good news because i think this is going to be a game changer for a lot of you and i went into this honestly as a doubter you know like i had connected with the guys at audio fusion a couple months ago and i'm like oh that's cool like yeah i just you know I just didn't think it was realistic that it was really working. But then I saw all these like testimonials of, of other worship bands using this or people reaching out to me even when I posted the other video a couple days ago saying, oh yeah, we've been using it for the past few months. It's awesome. And I'm like, really? Like I, I'm really excited to try this for myself at my church, especially because I experienced some of those dropouts here in my office. So I went ahead and I wanted to be the crash test dummy for you guys. Unfortunately, there was no crashing involved. I heard myself the best I've ever heard myself in my whole life. And I've never used super, super high-end in-ear monitoring systems before. But I know this system has sound better than anything else that I've ever used. And the signal dropouts and the latency was not an issue. So moving forward over the next couple weeks and months, I'm gonna continue using this system. And to be honest, I thought I was gonna try this out and be like, ah, there's too much dropouts, too much latency, just doesn't work. And then, you know, continue on using the system that I had been in the past, but that's not the case. I actually plan on getting a couple more licenses so we can have up to three or four people in our band use this system. And I know the team at Audio Fusion is working on developing these apps for Android and PC. And I'm really pumped for that because I know it's going to make it way more accessible for a lot of you. And just so you know, Audio Fusion Systems did not pay me to tell you any of this. Uh, I actually even bought my performer license uh, with my own money because I really want to give this an honest review. And I only like recommending things to you guys that I have actually tried myself. So in this scenario, I can tell you I'm going to be using this setup for the foreseeable future. And I can highly recommend that you try it out for yourself as well. So that's my brief update about this system. And maybe I'll make another update video weeks or a couple months down the road to, to let you guys know how it's working. And especially if I have some of my other band members start using it as well. Thanks so much for watching. If you found this video helpful, smash that thumbs up button and share it with your other friends in worship ministry. And finally, don't forget to subscribe to the Church Front channel so you can continue to receive our latest content to help you lead gospel-centered and tech-savvy worship.